Look at this. You could swim in GTA Chinatown Wars. This is the PSP version of the game. I did play this way back in the day. Love this game. Um, but on the DS. I've never played it here on PSP. And yes, we are still looking at the GTA games. We are celebrating the GTA series here on the Treats on Machine channel for the old school series. I um, hope you guys are doing well. Last time round, I took a look at GTA Vice City, I think. So yeah, here we go with some Chinatown Wars. Um, I did play this way, way back on the DS, but... I loved it, but at the same time, I struggled with it. So let's see how we get on here. Oh, I remember this. When I say I struggled, it's the camera angle with this game. Um, basically, I always felt that you've got such a limited field of vision, especially when you're driving anywhere at a high speed. So let's see how I get on here. I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I've already bumped into someone. Look at that. But it's GTA you're supposed to. Um, graphically, straight away, this... Ooh. Uh, this looks gorgeous. Really does. Be interesting to put this and the DS version side by side. I'd imagine that this version looks better. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just assume that would be the case i don't know but anyway let's run into this place kenny's restaurant i remember this place so yeah um when it comes to the psp gta games we got liberty city stories is it vice city stories was that what it was called and this and i always forget that this was on psp Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to run you over, I promise. I love the graphical style in this game, guys. I know I've already said that, but I just love the big chunky sprites. I like the colour palette that they've used for this version of GTA. Everything just looks really good. Liberty City, the worst place in America. Again. So, if you didn't know, this game takes place in an area of liberty city so like new york city this is one of the five boroughs i guess it, it's not going to be the scale of new york city because the game would be absolutely ginormous if that was the case but yeah um and it focuses on this gang whoever what whatever part of a gang i am or whatever the name of the gang is am i in a gang i'm trying to remember the story uh, oh, I remember this. This is cool. So this is where you save, basically. This is your apartment. And let's save her. The story is told uh, in a different kind of way, isn't it, in this GTA compared to the likes of Liberty City Story stories where you just get little stills rather than cutscenes. Um, and back in the day, I thought that was pretty cool. But do I like this game as much as the likes of Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories? Was it Vice City Stories? It's annoying me now. Um, no, I don't. I, 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 I think this game was innovative in a, in a sense, but it was also... I guess it was also um, fan service for the people who missed or wanted a GTA game in the style of the first GTA game we had. GTA 1, GTA 2, GTA London on the PlayStation 1. That top-down view. And those games are rough to play now. I've said this on the channel millions of times, but they are rough as hell to play now. This isn't as rough. This is very accessible to play. Everything works nicely, but I'm still struggling, guys, with this when it comes to the limited vision. Um, especially 
when you're playing this in handheld, I was going to say in handheld mode, you would be playing this handheld back in the day. So you're on a small screen as it is. Let me know your thoughts, guys, when it comes to this game. Let me know your experience when it comes to driving around this city. Um, did you experience the same kind of issues, or was you absolutely fine with it? Uh, what am I doing here? i got to go to the GPS, haven't I? Not there. There. Yeah. Because the, the, with this game, I always worry about going too fast i know that sounds ridiculous it's just like i can't fully embrace the vehicles and stuff or fully embrace the driving in the vehicles because of that and i'm sure you'll you'll see what i mean in a sec when we actually do go on a on a drive let's go on a drive together um you quickly plot routes okay so I have plotted the route, haven't I? Okay, there we go. So Kenny's crew... Am I part of Kenny's crew? I didn't really take it in, guys, the story where it starts. I wasn't um, paying attention. I was getting too excited about the swimming. Now, why am I making such a big fuss about the swimming? You may ask. Well, if you haven't seen... The other GTA games I've been doing over the last few weeks in celebration of the GTA 6 trailer, which is now live. Uh, <laughs> see what I mean? Oh, uh, it, it's probably just a me thing. It looks so good, though. This does look like New York City, doesn't it? It looks so cool. And I forgot the point I was trying to make. Oh, the swimming. Yeah, so basically what I've been doing is... is seeing what GTA games you could swim in and what you can't and which games that you can't I was really surprised that Vice City on PS2 you can't swim um, and I always thought you could in that game I always remember m me swimming in that game but yeah you can't I'm thinking of San Andreas anyway what are you doing in Kenny's car who are you so yeah, like I say, this is how the story's told in this game with this these comic book style stills. And it works. It works well with this game. But um I don't know if GTA Oh, I gotta get away from these dudes, haven't I? Oh, this'll test my driving skills in this game now. Cops see you commit a crime, you get stars. Yeah, we know that is GTA. So I don't remember these tutorials being like this, I have to say. Your wanted stars will start to dim. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if Rockstar gave us more top-down sort of style GTAs. Not that it, not that this is top-down. It's more, would you call it isometric? I don't know. I don't know what the style is, but it's in. It's in. Yeah, it's in keeping with that style, isn't it? Of the first two games and GTA London. I don't know if GTA has been like this since. I think this was the last time we had a top-down GTA. I might be way off on that. I might be completely talking out on my backside. I don't know. You can play this game, guys, because I have got Wiki open in front of me on the iPad. The Wiki page for Chinatown Wars, this game. And you can play this on iOS and Android, which is, yeah, unusual. Imagine this game on a tiny phone screen, though. Not for me, I have to say. But from what I can gather, we never saw this on PS2 or PS3. I'm trying to think what era we were in around now. Um, but yeah, we didn't get it on the home consoles, I don't think. In regards to reviews... Oh... <laughs> look, uh, look how easy I'm taking it, though. This isn't GTA. I'm supposed to be driving like a madman. And yeah, sure, I could do that, but I just... I'm too nervous to... 
because everything comes at you like straight away it's there in your face because obviously like I say your vision's limited isn't it that's not the game's fault per se because the game is designed the way it is it's just everything's really well done it's just a me like I say it's a me thing but yeah reviews um, this had nines everywhere a couple of 9.1s 9.2s um, but just nines it was it was universally praised on the DS on the PSP as well sold like hotcakes on the DS not so well on PSP apparently I think it came to PSP later radio stations are turned off guys because I think it might be licensed music I didn't check by not taking the risk because YouTube will well the artists won't be happy with me using the music on the video but yeah it, it's definitely my least favorite I was gonna say the worst but that makes it sound like a bad game when it's not it's a very very good video game but it's my least favorite out of the portable the handheld GTA games for sure okay what should we do now But it's gorgeous, this game, I think, graphically. I just love the art style in this game. Absolutely love it. Has it crashed? I don't think so. Because the... No, it hasn't. The chevrons. The blue chevrons were still animating. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's go back into Kenny's restaurant. Oh, did you see that then? Did the taxi just run over someone? All I heard was a squish. So again, more cutscenes if you want to call them cutscenes. No voice acting from what I can remember in this. Oh, let's test the police mechanics. The, or rather, the police gameplay mechanics in this and see what the AI does or see how aggressive the CPU or the AI could be. Okay, so the, here you go. This is my issue. <laughs> I don't want to drive too fast, but you kind of have to because I've got police tailing me. Let's go into here. This is supposed to be Central Park, I think. It's called Outlook Park in this game. Oh. Yes, please. I'll have a respray. Maybe not. Look how beautiful and vibrant and, like, busy the streets are. That's what I love about this. Everyone just going, ar going around their business. Oh. Right, mission failed. I'm sure there's a quick way to restart these missions so I don't have to go through all that again. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. Hold select. Okay. Okay, so it replays it from the cutscene. That's annoying. So the combat is fantastic in this game but I was talking to someone about this in the replies to it might have been Vice City it might have been Robles one of our lovely subscribers big shout out to Robles if it wasn't you I apologize um, we were talking about sleeping dogs or Robles brought up sleeping dogs this game makes me want to play sleeping dogs when you start getting the old uh, combat out get your combat out <laughs> right, let's try and make this jump. Yeah, the combat in this is really cool. Sleeping dogs, and it's kind of related to GTA, isn't it? Because it's obviously heavily influenced by GTA. Is such an underrated gem, isn't it? I might have to do an old school episode on sleeping dogs. I've got it on Xbox. I think I've got the definitive edition. And sure, it got good reviews, 
but um, I still think it's underrated. It's a shame that the because there was supposed to be a sequel, wasn't there? And it's a shame that the was the studio disbanded. I'm sure I'm right in saying that. Loved that game. Loved the combat. Loved the story. Loved the characters. The voice acting. Uh, the art style in that game was beautiful. Everything would just work. It was such a good GTA-like title. But anyway, back to this. Chinatown Wars. Because um, Sleeping Dogs... <laughs> back to Chinatown Wars, and then I go back to Sleeping Dogs. I want to talk about Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs was set in China, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure... Hong Was it Hong Kong? On my way off on that. And you, you play as that undercover... Yeah, undercover cop. But you get in with the gang. So obviously whenever I play this with Chinatown Wars, with these gangs, it rem always reminds me or makes me think of Sleeping Dogs and just... Those type of gangs and that culture, basically. Um, maybe Sleeping Dogs was influenced by this. Who knows? Right, where am I going here? Ah, oh, here's the beach. I'm also looking for... <laughs> oh, I'm not looking for this, but yeah, very funny rock star. <laughs> oh, can you see the image? Once you've seen it, you'll never unsee it. Yeah, but I'm looking for... <laughs> I remember there being... Oh, i got to break out the car. I love that. That's cool as well. Whenever you get your car... Or whenever you dunk your car underwater. Um, a go-kart. There's a go-kart, little go-kart circuit around here somewhere. I want to find that. Can I use this? Hmm. What the hell? There's someone in, in that thing. They'd glitched, like, behind it or inside it. That was so weird. <laughs> Yeah, but the combat in this very basic, obviously, but very uh, responsive. The controls in this are just... Do you see the cop, then? He just beat up that poor lady, and I've picked up her cash. The cops are brutal in this. What did he do that for? Yeah, combat in this is just... Or rather, the controls in general are really, really responsive. Everything just works really nicely in this game. I just don't like the camera. Let's go for a Sunday stroll on the beach. Even though it's not Sunday as I'm recording this. It's a... I don't know what day. It's a Monday as I'm recording this. But we'll pretend it's Sunday. He's just beat that cop up. It's carnage on the beaches of uh, Liberty City. Absolute carnage. It's not a safe place to walk your dog, guys. This guy's gone to check out the corpse there. It's all very weird, isn't it? Anyway. This is the boardwalk. Look at this. This is cool. So this is supposed to be like, um... Coney Island, is it? I'm not sure. Wherever Mr. Robot takes place, where the hacker's hideout is at the in the season one, if anyone's seen Mr. Robot. Bump my ride. Love it. Love the satire in these Rockstar games. Or the parodies. The parodies of stuff. It's all done very, very well. I'm sure there is a go-kart thing around here. But even on foot, this game is fun running around, just exploring. It's so cool. I thought this was amazing. When my brother, big shout out to Matt, brought this around my house. He's like, I got this on the DS, Mike. And I just could not stop playing it. I thought it was just really cool game. Can I jump this fence? No. No is the answer to that. You can't vault high fences, but you can vault fences. What's going on down there? There's all... Yeah, there's like one, two, three, four cops on the beach. Just all like being... Aggressive and weird. Stay away from... The There's a go-kart! Yeah, stay away from the beaches, guys, when you play this game. And they just call it go-kart. Of course! I've just been running around a go-kart track for the, like, last few minutes. 
but I didn't even notice. This is a go-kart look. Look at this. Love the way these handle. This is the way to get around Liberty City in this game, in the go-kart. Because it's such a joy, like I say, to, uh, it's such a joy to drive, the way it handles. It's nice and easy to drive. <laughs> Look at this game, though. It's a really cool video game, it sure is, but... It's, it's not for me, guys, I don't think, this game. Not anymore. <laughs> He's on the streets! He's now on the streets in the go-kart. I wonder if the cops will pull me over. I don't think they will. But anyway, this is Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars on the Sony PlayStation Portable. Look out for more content. Come to the channel. I'll speak to you all soon.